Hey, I'm John with Northland Sheds. Today I want to walk you through the process of how these buildings get built. Um, not just how we build them, but why we build them as well and what it is that sets us apart from our competition. Um, so why don't you join me? I'll walk you through real quick through the process and just point out some details and show you how these things get put together. First of all, I want to show you how our floors get built. Uh, this is a 12 by 16 floor. We have two by six floor joists. Uh, we have five skids underneath so that it evenly distributes the weight for you. This is, a, this is not going to be a garage, so it has the joists every 16 inches on center. The floors get built here kind of in the first part of the line. Um, and then once the floor is done, it gets moved down to the next section where the walls will get framed up and, and the roof gets put on. Um, we offer different kinds of flooring. We have a three quarter inch tongue and groove. This would be our standard flooring right here for your standard garden shed or um, just your, your typical storage building. Um, we offer also a, a dry ply, which is over here. This red colored stuff right here, this is for uh, like garages. Uh, more of a heavy duty plywood product. Tongue and groove as well, three quarter inch. That's what you would get on your garage packages. It has more of a, a weight rating for heavier things. And uh, so that's where the floors get built. And then I'll just walk on down and show you kind of the next process after the floor has been put together. So down here, if you look over here to my right, you'll see the cutout area. This is where a guy will be full time cutting out the product. Um, I wanna show you the lumber we use. This is just one more thing that sets us apart from uh, some of the other builders. We use a premium lumber. Um, this is, as you can see, it's very nice lumber, no wane on it. Um, nice and straight, smooth, a nice white pine. Um, we try to use top of the line lumber so that when you walk into your building, you'll have a beautiful product to look at. So in this section here, everything gets cut out, the windows, the doors, um, the, the roof, all the components for the building get cut out here. And then they get moved over here to the framing area. So then these guys here will take, take all the pieces for a building and nail it all together. They'll space the windows, the doors, the way they are on the blueprint and uh, get it framed up. This right here is gonna be a garage. So this has a joist 12 inch on center and it's upgraded to that, that uh, plywood tongue and groove flooring to take the extra weight of a garage. Right now they're framing up a 16 by 24 vinyl building. So they're just putting up the roof system right now. Um, again, this is set up very, very similar to the other side where we have a cutout guy here that cuts out all the components for the building. And then the framers take those pieces and nail it together to, uh, to build your set for you. So here I'd like to just show you our trusses, how we build our trusses. This is another thing that sets us apart. Um, we, we use the metal press plates on all of our trusses and all of our trusses get braces except for wherever you have like a loft or uh, the end trusses. But other than that, all of our trusses come with a brace in there to keep the roof from shifting over time or sagging or, or bowing the walls. Um, that'll never happen to our buildings because we have those braces in there to tie everything together. Um, our high barns have the brace in here. Over here, our, our ranch style trusses would come with, with a brace in here, every truss. So we have the press plates in here and just a very solid truss that will, that's not gonna move. Um, those get built right here in this corner. I wanna show you this real quick. So again, we use a premium lumber for these and they get cut here with the saw system. Uh, get cut here and then this press right here is where they all get pressed together. And 
And again, these are all built to, to meet uh, local snow load codes, uh, wind codes, all of those things. These trusses are built to, uh, to spec. We, we have an engineer that approves all of this for us. So um, again, a building that'll last you for many years without any issues. Okay, so once the building is done being framed, it comes down here to the paint room, to the, the section here where the thing gets painted. The first thing they do when the building gets down here is they will go over the building and check every nail. So they'll take a hammer, any nail that's sticking out, they'll take a hammer and, and pound it in until it's flush. If the nail is, is set too deep and it's overdriven, they'll take a caulk and fill the hole in. Uh, they'll put a bead of caulk along here. They go along and caulk any gaps, you know, any cracks where the splices are, anything like that, and give it a nice smooth finish before the paint gets put on. So as you can see right here, this one, they're going over it right now. They're, they're doing the caulking. These nails here get some caulk. Uh, beat a caulk up here as well to cover that splice. And they'll just basically inspect all the nails, make sure that none of them are, are protruding or there's no holes where water can collect and swell the wood. Um, so once that's done, they'll go ahead and paint it. Uh, the paint we use here is a Sherwin-Williams paint, a high quality paint. Um, and the reason we do that is not only because it's a great product, but because we have a lot of customers that want to custom match their building to their house. And so what they can do is take a sample of siding or uh, trim or whatever it is that you want to match, and you can just take that into your local Sherwin-Williams store. And they will take that and scan it and get a code, a number for that color. And then they can send that number to our local paint store here and custom match it for us. So that has worked very well for us to just have a seamless process like that. It makes it so much easier than trying to get the paint from some other place. Um, Sherwood Williams has served us very well. They have a great product and that's why we use them. Uh, we've been super happy with their product so far. So the buildings get painted here. Once the paint is on there, um, then they will trim the building. So in this room right here, we paint all the trim. Right here we have a bunch of white trim laid out right now. And this trim will go on that building that we just looked at out there. So the trim gets painted in here, the doors get painted in here, any of the components to the shed get painted in this room. And then once they're dry, they'll take them out here, cut them to length, and uh, put them on the building for you. This building here, as you can see, is all steel. This is a tough rib uh, 29 gauge steel with the wainscot. So we have a burnished slate wainscot and then a clay upper panel and then a burnished slate roof as well. So just a nice, nice option. The thing I love about these steel buildings is they're maintenance free. Nothing's going to go wrong with them. Um, these buildings will last you forever, really. There's nothing's going to happen. Um, so. If you're looking for something for the farm that matches your, your pole structures, your steel buildings, this is a great option to go with because you can get colors that are very close to what you already have and maintenance free. All right, so I just want to show you our vinyl siding here. We sell a lot of buildings here at Northland with the vinyl siding on them. Um, this is the forest green four inch Dutch lap siding. Um, and then they went with our clay insulated windows as well. Um, so forest green, four inch Dutch lap vinyl, clay windows, clay trim, and then they went with a Santone pre-hung door which matches the garage door as well. So um, that's what the vinyl looks like if you're wondering kind of what, you know, what's the difference in a vinyl building versus a wood building. Um, this is your, your vinyl product right here. So once the building is painted and trimmed, it gets moved out here to the, to the finish end. 
And if you look here at this wall, you can tell that we put a lot of effort into trying to get our nails nice for you. So you can hardly find a nail on this wall because of how we inspect them and how we go over the wall and make sure they're all nice and smooth with the surface. The trim on this one, uh, it's been put on, but it has not been rolled yet. So we'll take a roller with, the, with this color paint and we'll actually roll all the trim again, the fascia, the, the corner trim, all the trim will get rolled so that these little holes where the trim nails are get filled in with paint and get sealed up so that you don't have any issues with that over time of, of it swelling. Um, so once that's finished, once the building's touched up, then the roofer will jump on the roof and uh, get that shingled or he'll put the steel on, whatever you order, usually gets done down here on this end. So our shingles are a uh, certainty product, certainty Northgate shingle. These shingles are actually a very, uh, very high-end shingle. These shingles, I've seen, I haven't seen a lot of people use them on their houses because of the price. They're a very expensive shingle, but they are made to last a long time. And the other reason we really like these shingles is because of their durability. These buildings get hauled down the road at, you know, 70 miles an hour with a lot of wind. And we have had almost zero blow off issues with these shingles. So we have just, we've learned to really like them. Um, they, they take a lot of stress. You can roll them up like a newspaper and if you let them go, they'll flatten themselves out without cracking. Um, just a very heavy duty shingle and they won't blow off. We, we're in, a, in an area out here where we get really high winds. And so we try to offer great products that will, um, that will hold up over time with, with the elements. So just wanted to talk about those a little bit. A great shingle, I would recommend them to, them to anyone. I put them on my house myself just because of how good a shingle they are. Um, so that's just one more thing I wanted to tell you that sets us apart from our competition is we try hard not to cut corners when it comes to products. Um, yes, we could find shingles for a lot less money. But the problem you would have with them is you would have blow off issues and over time with the uh, with the high winds, even if we get it to your house with, with all the shingles there, with the high winds that you'll get over time, you'll end up losing shingles and we don't want that. We want you to have a great experience and this shed to last you um, for many years. Down here is where the doors get put in. Right now the guys are working on putting these doors in. This is a custom color right here. Someone is custom matching this. And then they went with our Krabby Apple red doors and shutters and then white trim. So kind of a cool color combination there. Um, so they're putting the doors in there. Shutters get put on down here. They'll go through the inside of the building. They'll clip all the nails, uh, sweep the floor, check all the fasteners in the floor, make sure everything's good. There's nothing squeaking or loose. Uh, make sure all the, the studs look good. And uh, then once all that's taken care of and finished, it'll go out the door. This has an insulated window. This is a 36 by 36 insulated window. This also has our pre-hung door. This door is uh, insulated as well. It's a really nice tight door to put on a building if you're planning to insulate it and finish it out and use it like an office space or really any space that you're planning to cool or heat. This door is, is a, a very good door. It's got a composite on here. It's not a wood. Um, we, we actually upgrade these to a uh, kind of more of a composite product. And the reason for that is we used to offer these with wood, but we had a lot of problems of this wood over time. The paint would flake off and it would start rotting. So we decided it, it's not worth it anymore. We're going to upgrade to something that, that, won't, that won't go bad for you. Um, these are called a forever frame door. And the reason for that is they'll last forever. They, they're, uh, they're plastic, so they're not going to rot out over time. They're not going to crack. Um, and then the door is a, is a steel door as well. So really good door, really good option for, like I said, if you're planning to heat this thing or pull it or, or uh, use it for something like that, definitely want to go with this door. 
These ramps are a great add-on to your shed. Um, let me just show you how they work. I'll carry one over here and set it on this building for you just to show you how these work and why they're so handy. So if you look here at the bottom of this door, you see this tread plate. And this tread plate is designed to where this ramp will set right in there like that. And then you normally you buy a set of two. That way you can drive your lawnmower, your golf cart, your ATV, whatever it is, your snowblower. You can pull that right up in here. It's just a smooth transition. And then if you want to keep the ramp on there, there's another level here, a lower level, that this ramp will set on on the bottom. And that allows you then to keep the ramp there and to still have a functioning door. So that ramp can stay there year round all the time. Um, and then if you have if you have something like, you know, a lawnmower with a low deck or something, you can just move it up one notch to get in and out a little easier. Um, so we offer those ramps in the green treated lumber, or you can get them in the aluminum, the all aluminum ramp as well, which we have a set right here. So if you're thinking of buying a building, I would really recommend um, getting these ramps as well because you will never regret it. We've had a lot of customers that'll say, you know, oh, I'll build the ramps myself, I'll take care of it. But six months later, you know, they still haven't gotten it done and they end up coming back and saying, hey, I'll just take a set of those because they're so nice and, and easy to work with. All right, so I just want to show you our garage door. This is an eight by seven, sand tone in color, uh, overhead garage door. So this building here has the upgraded floor for a garage. Um, it has a two by six floor joist, three quarter inch tongue and groove flooring, and uh, the ramp tread plate. So the ramps that we offer will set right in here as well. And then you can pull your ATV, your vehicle, your boat, whatever it is you want to store in here. You can back it right in here. And uh, the door, it's just a basic garage door. You pull it down latch it. Uh, it's sealed off for snow and water blowing in there. Um, so great doors. I love these doors. They, we have had no issues with them really as far as weather, um, any of that stuff. Customers have been very happy with them. I want to show you our three window dormer option here. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite features that you can put on your building. Um, so from the outside, you, you just get that that great dimension it gives it that nice uh, that nice look there um, and then on the inside you also get a lot a lot more height and more daylight on the inside okay so on this building we have the silver tech on the walls and the ceiling so what the SilverTech does, it doesn't have any R value. It's not an insulation, but what it is is kind of a reflective heat barrier. So if you go outside on a hot day and you step into a shed that, that has a SilverTech and then one that doesn't, the, the building with SilverTech will be a good bit cooler than the building without it because this, this deflects a lot of heat. Um, the other positive with this is it reflects light. So, you know, if you have like one window, um, that'll give you lots of light in here because it, it'll reflect it for you. So it kind of gives it that nice, clean, bright finish. Um, so it is an upgrade option that we offer. And I just wanted to show it to you so you know what that silver tech is that, you know, if you're looking at our website and you see that, that's what it's talking about is this, this silver uh, backer on the, OSB on the roof and the walls. So this is inside of a 12 by 16 dormer shed. Uh, this has a SilverTech siding, SilverTech roof. We have a workbench here. And then we also have the VersaCaddy kit, which is these little shelves here. You can customize that, put them in wherever you want them. Um, we have some hooks over here for hanging up cords or hoses or whatever you want to hang there, shelves for your, um, 
your paints and your spray cans and all those kinds of things that are always in your way, you can organize those there. Um, and then if you look up here to the inside, the inside view with the dormer, um, you get a higher ceiling here in the middle and you also get great lighting in here. So not only does it look great from the outside, but it also gives you a lot more lighting in here and more headroom if you want to store things up a little higher. Um, it works great for that. This one has the 24 by 36 windows. These are just a basic window that you can open up um, for airflow. Um, it has the garden vents, the arched garden vents, and then the 60 inch double doors. And then for the flooring, we have the three quarter inch tongue and groove smart finish flooring. This has that smart finish uh, backing on it, so it gives it a nice clean look and uh, holds up very well under all kinds of conditions. All right, so that's it guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the walkthrough and just, uh, I hope it helps you understand a little better who we are here at Northland, what we do, how we do it, and most importantly, why we do it. Um, we enjoy what we do. We're here to, to build a great product for you to help meet your storage needs, to help you meet whatever need it is you have. Um, and we take pride in doing what we do and building the product that we build. And, uh, you know, we want you to feel like, like you understand where this product is coming from. And we want to give you that personal touch to, to us and to knowing like what, the, what goes into this building and how it gets done. Um, so hopefully this helped you understand that better. And uh, please reach out to us with any questions you have. Um, we're here to help you, to serve you, and to, to make your life better for you. Uh, so thanks for, thanks for taking the time, and uh, take care.